Hello, my name is Randy Rolfe and I'm president of the Institute for Creative Solutions. And today I want to talk about a topic that's getting a lot of attention, uh, the ketogenic diet. And it's uh, about reducing the intake of carbohydrates and usually related to trying to uh, decrease weight, to lose some weight. And it is a very effective diet and I'm a big advocate of it and uh, have been recommending it ever since Dr. Atkins did his work back in the 70s to show that um, good healthy fat is not bad, it's not what makes you fat. What makes you fat is refined carbohydrates from white breads, white pastas, uh, and sugary snacks, and especially all the sugars in sodas and artificially sweetened uh, drinks. So there's a, um, a lot of controversy about whether, you know, how many carbohydrates and that kind of thing. I really think Dr. Atkins' uh, long practice in recommending this diet proved that to lose weight, uh, to get your carbohydrate intake down to below 30 grams a day for a couple of weeks, which would rebalance the brain so that it's not relying completely on glucose, but has some ketones as well, which is the second preferred uh, energy source of, of fuel for the brain. And that happens when there's not uh, so much glucose coming straight in from your diet, the liver starts uh, breaking down the stored fat and forms ketone bodies, which are used uh, by the brain and other, uh, certainly the muscles and many other uh, cells to create their energy. So, um, the, but the main point is that the carbohydrates you want to reduce, it's not about you know, carbohydrates are bad, it's about all the refined carbohydrates. So if, you, if your carbohydrates come from nuts and vegetables, um, that's great, and some good whole fruits, that's fine. And once you're down to the wheat, you want to be at um, about 30, the 40 grams of carbohydrate a day is, is very healthy and balanced. But it's quite all right to cut out all your refined carbohydrates and just rely on your fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and beans for uh, a, a proper amount of carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates are, are new to the human physiology. Our bodies can't handle it. It often leads to diabetes and arthritis and a lot of worse things, uh, well, nothing worse than that, but uh, indigestion and that kind of thing. And so um, we do need to avoid refined carbohydrates as much as possible. And if you're really trying to lose weight, uh, moving your metabolism into that ketone production, the ketogenic diet is a very healthy way and, and probably the primary way to lose unwanted weight. As long as you're bringing in uh, refined carbohydrates, lots of glucose, um, the body is going to want to store it away because it protects the amount of glucose in the blood very carefully. So you're going to use a lot of insulin to push away the glucose out of the blood and then it gets, gets stored as fat. So that's it for today. I recommend the ketogenic diet and um, have a great week.